resurrection healing is, yes, uh, has to be part of the healing story, um, but it also, it's witnessing the resurrection in light of what has happened. So Jesus, when he resurrects, doesn't resurrect, he, one, he resurrects on a human body, but that human body has scars on it, and that's really important because oftentimes, sometimes, when we talk about healing, we want it all to go away. It's a very Western thing, like I want it to no longer be there anymore, like be gone. Um, however, Christ shows that actually no, it stays, the scars stay, and, there, and in the reintegration and the new person, there can't be erasure of what happened. And in many ways, I, I've always loved um, the story of Thomas, um, doubting Thomas as he often is called, but uh, one of my favorite parts of my uh, Shelley Rambo's class was sort of reframing Thomas as a witness to God, God's own wounds. No one else had the guts to, no one else had the guts to be like, "Hey, actually, I'm still disturbed. Like, I'm still like, what happened to you was wrong. Like, he is someone who's calling it out and saying, I can't acknowledge it. Like, the cross, I can't acknowledge it." And the way in which he actually gets back in and reintegrated is by touching the wounds of Christ. There's a physical, bodily aspect to it. Um, and so there's a reframing of Thomas as a witness of the wounds. Um, 